Hello everybody, what's going on today? We are on the Lost Island, finally. Uh, I've wanted to do this for so long, because, uh, you know, Lost Island came out, like, what, just over a week ago, I think. I wanted to play it so long, but I had to update the game. And uh, it takes forever where I'm at, because my uh, internet isn't that great. So now we're finally on it. And this is just going to be our starter episode, just kind of getting started. Uh, just kind of figuring out what we're going to tame. And, like, you got this Parasaur. And, uh... Can't quite tame that Parasaur yet, because we don't have Bolas or anything. And, uh, I don't, you don't get those until uh, later. And so I'm probably not going to stick around to get those, but... Uh, it's going to be kind of more about exploring and stuff. I did, a. Uh, try to film the first episode uh, one time before this but it didn't fully work uh, so that was kind of interesting I uh, started and I record on Xbox and for some reason it won't like upload clips over two minutes and so I kind of had to figure that out but uh, yeah so I recorded clips that were 10 minutes, hoping it'd be easier, but uh, that didn't really help, so I just had to record 4 minute clips and just trim them down, but for some reason on Xbox they decided, well, we're not going to let you upload clips over 2 minutes, but if you have a 10 minute clip, you can't trim it down, so for some reason they only let you trim down clips that are under 5 minutes, which to me doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but uh I'm just glad to be finally playing and getting this, you know, video made. But, uh, apparently there's a lot of rocks in here that aren't harvestable, I guess. Which, I guess, I kind of figured they weren't harvestable, judging by how big they were. So now, I've, uh, got all my stuff made, and we're just gonna, uh, kind of kill a couple things to get some hide and meat. Because, uh, I kind of want to build a canoe. I don't know what level I can get that at, but I want to build a canoe at some point. I don't know if it'll happen in this episode, but I want to do a bit of exploring, and uh, we're just going to figure that out, so. Yeah, this map, honestly, I think this is going to be my new favorite map. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to be new, my new favorite map above Ragnarok or the island, because honestly, I love the island. Like, I, I think it's a great map. Scorched Earth is pretty cool, too. Um, Aberration... I like the idea of the map, but I just don't like playing on it for some reason. I don't know. It's just, like, too dark, I guess. Too dark and gloomy. <laughs> That's probably why I like Scorched Earth so much. Because a lot of people say they don't like it because of, uh, like, how hard it is. But honestly, I love it. But this map is, like, super jungly, and it's got ruins and stuff, which I like you know, to, like, have in video games. So... Exploring is definitely going to be a cool thing going on today. <clears throat> so, now I've just killed some Dilophosaurs. Got a, a decent amount of hide now. And uh, now we can learn some new Engrams. Uh, nothing super useful for right now. I mean, the bed will come useful probably next episode, but uh, I'm not really going to uh, use the Spyglass a whole lot this early because i got to find Crystal first. And, uh, my goal is I kind of want to, uh, explore over, there's a tower over, uh, that direction, pretty much. Uh, not this direction, but over to my right. Uh, and I kind of want to explore over to that, because, uh, it just looks kind of neat. And from watching, uh, Syntax videos, if you guys have ever watched his videos, I know there's spiders in it. So I kind of want to go and, uh, find something to tame. And then I'll maybe kill the, some of those spiders. So yeah, I hope I can do that. And uh, just because I want to get some uh, chitin early on in case I find a uh, Sonoma crops, because those things look incredibly useful. And also, they might become like my new favorite creature. Because my favorite creature before this was probably. Oh man, let's see. Probably the Spino. The Spino is pretty cool. They're fast, they <clears throat> have, like, movable stances, which, like, a lot of other creatures don't have, which I think, I'm not 100% sure about this, because I don't usually tame them, but dire bears, I feel like they should have, um, like, changeable stances, 
like from like on all fours where they chomp to like upright and they swipe with their hands just like the spanner does i feel like that'd be kind of cool for bears because i'm pretty sure bears do that in real life they ha they can like stand up and fight i guess so i think that'd be like a cool like realistic thing that art could add but there's one thing i don't like about this map and it's when you like go underwater the underwater does not look amazing or at least it doesn't in this little lake area because that's all i've seen because uh, in my other first episode, I kind of went underwater and like looked around and sh and there was like really nothing interesting going on down there. It was it just looked kind of barren, but hopefully around the other areas it's a little bit better. But to be fair, the islands like underwater area isn't that amazing. Unless you go to like the east side of the map, that side of the map's okay, but it's mostly just like rock structures and stuff there's no like not a whole lot of plants and stuff which I think would be cool like they did on Genesis part 1 Genesis Genesis part 1's underwater was amazing like it was super deep and they had like so much like coral and of course on that map it helped that they had like color for animals and stuff like they had the uh what were they the the X creatures I think on that one and then there were the R creatures, I think, on the Genesis Part 2. Also, I haven't played Genesis Part 2 yet. Just because, I don't know, I didn't really want to. I probably will at some point, but I don't know if I'll upload videos on it or not. But this, it just seems, like, amazing. Because, like, canoes on this map are, like, going to be pretty useful. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of make our journey over to this tower. And uh, we're going to try to set up like a little little mini base. And you can actually store stuff in the canoe, which uh, makes a mini base, you know, a lot easier. It's kind of like a mobile base. Basically, all you got to do is just place a bed down next to this thing, and you got your storage and everything. But, uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty good idea going over here and just seeing what we can find. Just kind of exploring this first episode, because... We're not going to get super far into uh, engrams and stuff. So, might as well just come over here and kind of explore. Ooh, hit a bit of a lag spike there. It's probably like just from loading in the tower or something. But I think that I think that this map's going to be amazing for exploring and stuff. Um, the part that doesn't make sense is if you go to the south part of the map, like, like the southeast part, there's like a desert. Which doesn't really make sense. Now, if they made it like a, like a desert island, kind of. Like a small desert island. like So like this map, there's like a little... Like on the far uh, west side of the map, there's like a little like groove. Like a, like a chunk that was taken out. And then there's like islands in that area. Well, I think they should have done that with the desert. Maybe not taking, like, a groove out of the actual map, but just, like, set up, like, a desert island that had all the desert creatures. Because it doesn't really make sense that this is, like, the lost island. And that there's, like, a desert that has, like, a vast expanse of desert behind it. Because <laughs> I, I didn't really think about it, because I'd never seen this map until it came out. And then I looked at the map, and I was like, oh, like a little desert. It must be, like, a little like desert island or something but then you go there and it's just like a vast expanse of desert <laughs> so now i'd like to tame in moss chops Are we gonna just but leave fire waste lying around? i don't know if i'll be the final this one's kind of a cool color Ooh, yeah I, I can definitely tame that one a lot of moss chops are like require weird things like cooked prime meat and uh Let's see, they, some of them require rare flowers, um, just a bunch of weird stuff that you wouldn't have early on. But some of them are like this, and they just require, like, berries. <laughs> or, and sometimes rare flowers isn't even that bad if you spawn near them, but I don't know where rare, flower, rare flowers are on this map. That was easy. <laughs> Only took one berry. Um, I, I am going to adjust settings on this after this episode, because uh, I... Uh, because, uh, I know the, obviously the stats are a little bit buffed, apparently. 
So I think I'm going to reduce maybe the taming quickness <laughs> and uh, probably mess with the stats a little bit, probably lower um, how much melee damage and health get added per uh, like stat boost, I guess. <clears throat> Just to even it out a little bit more, uh, make it a little bit you know harder. And I also had a neat idea what, and it was like uh, in the stats you have like wild, uh, wild dino. Uh, like stats or whatever, and you can boost those. I was I was thinking it might be a neat idea to like boost like dinosaur stats like a ton and make like a super hard series. Because uh, I thought that just sounded like a neat idea. <clears throat> but yeah, we finally got a, we got actually got a moss chop, so now we can uh, kill some things and get a bit more hide. Because uh, hide is very uh, important this early on. But then you uh, like always seem to end up with way too much of it. <laughs> kind of towards like the middle end game, you seem to end up with too much of it until you have to make uh, like ascendant saddles and stuff. That uh, that sucks. But yeah. So I'm just gonna grab some of this stuff and level them up. See, look, you got a couple levels, and his health went up a lot, and his melee damage is already at. 700 uh, percent so I'm probably gonna even that out a little bit more so it's like a little bit lower just so he's not doing like 500 damage for being a moss drops all right now we're gonna we're just gonna head up to this tower now uh, we're gonna go around the back side of the hill and go up there and uh, yeah maybe go kill a spider or two on the way up or in the tower <laughs> so on our way up uh, we found one spider. It, like I think it glitched through the ground, like from the cave through the ground over to the side of the hill, because it just kind of like came out of nowhere. And I killed it and got a uh, hundred chitin. And then I went to the bottom of the tower, like in the caves, and there were absolutely no spiders to be found. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do a dino wipe just to try and get all the spawns correct and uh, hopefully that'll fix it but uh, we'll see I hope you can do dino wipe on console I've never tried it <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever looked into it but um, one thing I do think is cool is this fire on the first episode that I deleted because it wouldn't work I actually explored this and you can actually get hurt by this fire now you're probably thinking oh, oh yeah fire will hurt you well I you know, a lot of things in games, they're, like, just, like, a still image of, like, fire or something. So you can, like, run through it and, like, stand in fire and it won't do any damage. But this is actually kind of interesting. It doesn't add a whole lot of value, but it's still pretty cool that it actually does hurt you. So that's the end of episode one. We didn't get a whole lot done, but we did a whole lot of traveling. And now you can look out over the map here.